Hello and welcome to Hardway Learning. Today we are doing some good stuff because we're working on the RS3 again. We've got an integrated engineering carbon fiber intake. We'll replace this guy here, replace the air box, replace the snorkel thing here. And uh, we're going to show you how to do it. And hopefully it sounds cooler and it's supposed to add like 20 to 30 horsepower on top of the IRA stage 2 parts. So let's get cracking. First thing you want to take off is the snorkel, which is a T25 torch bit. Once these T25 bits are out of there, you slide this puppy back and you pull that out. Just, uh, and then you pull the engine cover, which is you get the cap off there. And there's just a couple of rubber fittings. Pull that guy away. Put our cap back on so we don't get any gunk or grime in our engine. And then we can start <coughs> pulling. Pliers. And uh, get a pliers. Pliers? Pliers? A pliers? Here you go, catch. It says to pry this off. With a flathead screwdriver, careful. So that, I mean, that's pretty easy. So I just stick, stick her in there and then twist a little bit. And that thing just pops right off. And then it says to stow it off to the side somewhere. There. You need yes. to cut it. No. No, it's coming. This is why you have to put the parking brake on. It's just rolling around. This guy. You, you. Get a bucket back. Look at all them hands. Go. So now we gotta remove this. Yeah. You gotta bend that somehow. We're supposed to cut that off. So it's us. the malacca piece mm. and this right now APR made one mm. but that'll probably send pieces of, pieces of carbon fiber into your engine well in that's why they're now so they used to be just selling the turbo inlet with the inlet pipe our intake came what appears to be pre-assembled but they ask us to double check and make sure that the clamp for the cone um, filter inside is oriented correctly so that we can get through to it on the bottom here. So, with that in mind, we're gonna just open her up and check real quick. And notice we laid out the uh, yoga mat under here just to make sure that the intake doesn't get totally destroyed because it's a beautiful piece of car. Oh! Looks like it's kind of oriented the right way, but let's see what they say. So we double check just to make sure, but ours was already tightened down our cone filter. So that step of the IE instructions, you know, we check to make sure, but it's not maybe necessary. Good thing I'm dropping this on the side that we'll see. All right, so now that our cone filter is aligned, we're gonna sneak this snorkel guy into the car. <laughs> For real? Or you can. I can't tell if it's in. That's what she said. I can't 
can't press it down. Oh, there it went. Okay, so we got the 90 to 110 millimeter clamp. We slide it onto the silicone. And then we just wiggly, wiggly, wiggly dock. Do we get clamps on here first? Yes. That's the next. So it's simply denoted as a small clamp. But we'll just slide around the ears. Okay, so that's on there. So then we just go. Okay, so that's there. I really want to push that guy all the way in. Is that orientated? You see how it's so far this way though? Don't mean the more you push this that way, the more that's gonna bend. So. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, that's like way on there. You're trying to get it on further? I don't know. That's probably fine. The, oh, you want to move the clamp further on? Yes. I don't know how much thread there is left. It's like very much backed off. Okay, I think that's probably good. Isn't that kids? It's called teamwork. Oh, look. tubing to make sure that there's no weird kinks anywhere. You're good to tighten down all the clamps. I wouldn't over tighten them, just... Especially when I'm like, probably don't want to, I don't know how tight you can get on carbon fiber without cracking it. Right, so I'm just going until I can get a noticeable amount of pressure and like the band kind of coming in. Yeah, make sure you tighten all four hose clamps down. Get the front of the intake mounted, T25. All five of the hose clamps, actually. These two, two over on this side for the turbo inlet. The one, two, whatever the hell this is. And then it says to reconnect the ECU. There's supposed to be an unused. I think it just said to use that. This thing? Maybe. Do is crimp this guy. Let's start more leverage. Uh -huh. Um, okay, three, two, one. 